Okay, to install Mozilla VPN in Linux Mint 20.2, go to mozilla.org slash en dash us slash products slash VPN, and then click the Get Mozilla VPN button. Then you'll need to choose a subscription plan, and that'll take you through setting up a username and password. And after you've done that, you can close the browser and open a terminal. Then type sudo add-apt-repository ppa colon mozilla corp slash mozilla vpn. Enter your password. and then hit enter. After that, enter sudo apt update. And when that's done, Enter sudo apt install resolvconf and Mozilla VPN dash y. Okay, now there's two ways to start Mozilla VPN. The first is for the command line, so you just type Mozilla VPN. And since this is the first time we're using it, you'll have to click the Get Started button. That will open a web browser where you log in with your email and password that you've previously set up. And then when you've done that, you can close the browser Go back to the Mozilla VPN app and click Continue. And if you want to send technical data to Mozilla, click Allow on this device. If you don't, click Don't Allow. Okay, the first thing you need to do is select a location. And click on the city that you want your server to be in. Now if you want to set up two servers, click multi-hop, select your first server, then select your second server, then go back to the main window, and then click on settings in the upper right corner, click network settings, then check the box for local network access. That way you can get to your printers and other devices on your local network without using the VPN. Then to exempt apps, click on app permissions. Uncheck protect all apps with VPN. And then click any app apps you want to exclude from the VPN. When you've selected your apps, go back to the main window. And turn the VPN on. In Linux Mint, you'll also have an icon in the taskbar. Close the VPN, hit the X for the window, then right click the icon in the taskbar, select quit Mozilla VPN. Now the second way to start it is to go to your applications and find it there. Click on the icon, and Mozilla VPN is up and running again. That's all there is to it. 
Thanks for watching.